coming up on the Paranormal After Watch. What are you doing? Driving a car. Oh, you driving a car? Yeah. I'm just supposed to be investigating? I am investigating a mustache. Oh, all right. And I just went in and do not enter. Hey, hey, oh, hey, that's hey. Nice. Why don't you see what you've done? <laughs> If you think it's a good idea to give the keys to your 300 plus horsepower Mustang to Steve Barry, you're probably going to have a bad time. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust Steve with your car. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's got a lot of power. Yeah, sure. I just don't know the cops in the service. So. <laughs> yeah, That's I don't know either. Yeah, so I don't know. Right. With that out of the way, the teams have to get back inside of the Isle of Wight County Museum to finish investigating on this final night in Virginia. The last time I was here, we did an EVP session down here. Uh, I was feeling like I wanted to crawl out of my skin. Like I felt like I shouldn't be down here. Now, is it a feeling that came on gradually or did something trigger it? By the time we came to the bottom of the steps, I started feeling weird. So and as then, soon as you came in? Now, when I got here this evening, I felt the same thing. And then, since it was so long ago, I, I tend to forget my experiences. But then when I came back to this evening, Everything started coming back, and I, like right now, I, I don't, I feel funny down here. I'm talking to anyone that might be down here with us tonight. Are you going to come out and speak to us tonight? Something about this area here. I don't know what, but I don't like it. Well, they could be bothering you, but they're not going to bother me. Who's down here that knows Ray? Do you remember me from the last time I was here? Do you remember me from the last time I was here? Do you remember me from the last time I was here? Is there something about him that reminds you of someone that maybe you don't like? I'm sure you don't know Ray. Or because Ray's been here before investigating, maybe you're not a big fan of that. Here we get swishing sound from over here. Well, whatever feelings you have towards me. You shouldn't have them because I'm not here to hurt you or bother you. I told you the last time I was here, we we're just here to get to know you and talk to you. You don't need to hide or cower. It's weird that we have the emergency lights over on there and there's that little cone of red that's coming down and it just like shimmered. Do you know this place as the museum or do you know it as the bank? I just got like a little chill walking over here. See, now that where the exit sign light is bouncing off the smoke sensor, mm -hmm. it just flickered. Are you protecting the vault? Is that why you don't like Ray down here? Maybe he looks a little shifty. No offense, but you kind of look a little shifty. Not me. It's like pit bulls and parolees. It's funny you say that. Um, that's my nickname. <laughs> Not me. It's like pit bulls and parolees. It's funny you say that. Um, that's my nickname. <laughs>
Is your name J? What was that? What was that? I heard that too. It sounded like a cough. Oh, that's uh, okay. that's a shame. Is your name James? Were you the director of the bank? No, it was over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back corner. <coughs> More back here. We're going to come to you. If you don't want us there, you got to do something. Let us know. Who's whispering? Me. Who's whispering? That is kill. There it goes again. How 
many of us are wearing white shirts? One. One. Got that right. How many black? Let me know when I'm near you. Alright, I don't like the ghost box at all down here. There's too much interference. No, there's too much sputtering, there's not sentences. No. We uh when it works, it works great and we we'll get full sentences or at least a couple words together. Mm -hmm. When it does like that, where it's just spitting out random stuff, I put it away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got Sandy on the toilet, look at that. You know, this is pretty undignified. <laughs> Hi, this is Tex Stram for SunsetRanches.net. I'm here to help you get started on your journey to land ownership and to share with you the six most important tips when looking at buying land. Tip number one, purpose of land. So what is your goal for the land investment? Recreation, livestock, or even home building? When looking at land purchase, it's important you know what you want to do with it now and in the future. Some land won't let you build on it. Others won't let you hunt, camp, or ride motorcycles. All of the land we offer on sunsetranches.net let you do all the above and more. Tip number two, location and roads. Location is, as they say, everything. Is it close to a highway or major city? Some internet land sellers give you a great price, but their land has no road access or is in a remote area not close to any major city. All of the property sunsetranches.net offers is close to El Paso, Texas, and has great highway and road access. Tip number three, power and waste. It's critical to understand what options are offered for power and waste disposal, especially if you intend to build on your property. Are there any type of easements offered for power to be established or expanded? Are solar and wind power available to build on your property? And are septic systems allowed? All of the tracks sold by sunsetranches.net allow building of solar, wind, and septic systems and have easements for power expansion. Well, that's the end of part one. Make sure to watch part two and start your way to land ownership. We make it easy for you to get started. So start your land ownership adventure today. Okay, now you get two to play with. Was that you that just made the K2 go off again when he came in with that new device? Pull from that box, that black box over there. It says 8.6 on it. You take all the power you want out of that. Do you want me to step out of the room? Are you scared of me? I don't think you can turn them lights on again. I don't think you have it in you. We're not going to hurt you. So are you responding to Steve to show that you can turn it on? Yeah. Well then make the other ones go. If you can make that one go, make the one where the 8.6 is up there. Make that one go off. Then I'll believe you're here. Not that one, the other one. The one that's flashing red, blue, green. Oh, it's dead. it went off. Do it again. That was a cheap shot. Are you standing in front of me? You're going to have to do something better than that. Make those lights go all the way across then and hold them there. Are you older than 86? Are you younger than 86? You're younger than 86, all right. Are yeah. you 85? Well then change the number to 85. If you change that number up on that board to 85, then you'll impress me. Please? Can you please do it? I know it's going to take some energy, but just go there and turn that 6 into a 5. Alright, so you can't do it. All I want you to do is take your energy and touch right where this red light is where my hand is. That's all I want you to do. Can you do that for me? Keep touching it. There it goes. Come on, you're doing it. Touch it. Pull all your energy right on top of that box. Knock the box off the table. 
Is there a message you want us to tell someone? Okay, well, we have recorders out, and if you speak loud enough, it'll record you. So go ahead and talk. I've got these glasses on that may be able to see you. Can you come by the dollhouse and try to touch this device for me, please? Uh, you can probably sense my sincerity. I really do mean it. I want to try to help you if you can. Are you scared? Are you nervous? You see something that? behind me? Just listen. Okay. All right. It, are there male spirits present with you? Maybe they're making you nervous? Because we clearly hear, heard what sounded like male voices. That's all right, too. If you don't want to talk to us and, and we make you nervous, just light up the device in Sandy's hand. And we'll leave. And we'll leave this room. You're not a quitter, are you? Are you not allowed to talk to us? Is that a rule where you're at? Are you hearing something, Sandy? Something shuffled that way, but I don't know if it was them moving or not. All right, let's go see if we can find a different room. Okay, we've moved to a bigger room. Well, we moved to a different room. Are you more comfortable talking in here? Can you tell us your name? We know you're here. I've been here before. Here's guys again. That's her. Darn heater behind me, but I thought I heard behind Joe again those guys talking. You didn't hear that, Joe? No, I didn't hear that. I thought I heard him. Yeah, it was quick. It was like, it was sort of like this. Are there male spirits up here? Did you just give Joe goosebumps? Wow, it's like the crown of my head. I mean, we heard the guys over here. I mean, no matter how I hate to say it, we may test the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, going in the bathroom. Why not? Maybe that's where they're hiding. Are you here with us? No, that was... I hit that. You can also affect this device by talking into it. I just thought I heard a footstep. Does anybody hear a footstep? You can talk. So I can hear you. I was right. like trying to list, make sure I don't... Hey, we're home. Whoa! I got a feeling they're in the bathroom. To be honest, it's the only one. Okay. I got Sandy on the toilet. Look at that. You know, this is pretty undignified. <laughs> hey. No. But you, you know. Had, you had to do worse in wrestling. Do you want me to get oh, please. Not? I got tossed in a you trash can. can. This is nothing. Since we'll hear it. You make this light splash. Oh, just go. Scared to go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Told you you're hiding in the bathroom. Do you want to stand on this side so you can actually Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you you were hiding in the bathroom. If you, you know, I'll stay here all night. You know, I got nothing better to do. If you want me to shut up and go away, you're going to have to be, show me you're here. And that means showing me by making these lights flash. You just did, so you can't BS a BSer. You're in here, aren't you? Are you a male or a female? Are you a male? Yeah, he's male. Oh, you're a guy. I bet you think this is funny trapping a girl in a bathroom, huh? <laughs> he's laughing. Ask it if that was it talking when we heard the voices. Was that you we heard talking earlier? Do you have a friend up here and you two were having a conversation? Oh, now you're going to get... Yeah. Well, well, well. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> you're a cheeky little devil, aren't you? Told you I'd find you. It sounded like you were talking to somebody else. If so, let up that device. <laughs> Is your voice down here? What?
Let's just get it right. I just asked her. Howdy, Tech Stram here for part two of six important tips of how to buy land brought to you by sunsetranches.net. In part one, we covered knowing the purpose of your land, location, and power. In part two, we will cover services, surveying, and terms. Let's get started. Tip number four, services. You hope you never need it, but if you do, are there fire and police services provided by the county you purchase your property in? It's important to check since in some remote locations, telephone and internet service may not be available. At sunsetranches.net, we do the homework for you, and we are happy to report all of our tracks have police, fire, emergency, phone, and internet services available. Also, available nearby are post offices, food, lodging, schools, and medical facilities. Tip number five. Survey. Why is it important? Land survey is important to avoid confusion and legal troubles, and any credible land seller should survey their land. A professional land surveyor will research the documents available about your land, including titles and previous surveys. They then go out to the land and they will physically measure the property and check these dimensions against the previous records to find any discrepancies. Land surveyors can also use electronic equipment, GPS positioning, or other devices to determine the boundaries of your property. At sunsetranches.net, we care about your peace of mind, so all land sold by sunsetranches.net is professionally surveyed. Tip number six, terms. All buyers should have buying terms up front. You should be able to see plainly the monthly payment, down payment, interest rate, and any other fees. A sample contract, if requested, should be provided for you. View the properties we sell at sunsetranches.net, and you'll notice on each listing we put all the relevant information up front for the buyer. Never get in a deal where the seller does not want to put up front the terms of the contract. Well, that ends our six most important tips for buying land. Visit our website at www.sunsetranches.net to view more information about land ownership and to browse our land listings. We make it easy for you to get started. So start your land ownership adventure today. Okay, we're going to take another trip down to the basement. And we have Christine, Lindsay, and we're taking Jennifer this time. <laughs> so maybe we can... Make her into a believer. Right. Or this will be the last time I ever think that. <laughs> Sir, are you down here? There's, there's a gentleman here with me right now. Do you want to come out and talk to me? There's something. Is that it's on the door? Is this all the building? There's something here. There was a flood here in the museum. 2006, um, and a lot of the artifacts were, um, you know, ruined or moved out, and there were some walls in this space. So things have changed once we moved. Was it a solid wall, or was it something that this wall? It, was there something here before, like an open space, and then a wall was put here afterwards? Um, you mean no? It was it was open there, but there were there were several different rooms down here. Okay, because this is this is where. I'm supposed to be. Okay. This is. He's just pointing there, there. And why are you so angry? Are you angry in general, or just at me? Do I remind you of someone? Yes. Well, who do I remind you of? Is this while the, while the bank was here, or...? Yeah, I was, I, I was talking about savings bonds, and I could see them burning, and then she, Jennifer and Dorman, there was a fire. Talking about savings bonds, and I could see them burning, and then Jennifer and Dorman, there was a fire. Talking about savings bonds, and I could see them burning, and then Jennifer and Dorman, there was a fire. Talking about savings bonds, and I could see them burning, and then Jennifer and Dorman, there was a fire. Are you angry because you feel like you might be Responsible for the fire? Like you could have stopped it? Do you feel responsible? Go away is what I got. Go away? We want it again. What's up? Go away. 
Can I take that back again? It sounds to me like you're a man. You're the man. Go away. Two syllables. Mm. See something right there? Don't get angry. Sorry. Is your voice down here? What? I just heard a voice in the room. Mm -hmm. We just, yeah, right. I just asked her if she heard that. It was a woman. That she was agreeing what you were listening to. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they listen in when you, you play it back. Because I guess they can't hear themselves. So when you play back their voice, they, a lot of times they'll get curious and they'll come right up. You know that Ray's coming back here. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not running away from you. I will be back to talk to you. It would be nice that the two of you can work out your differences. Sorry, that was me. I mean, how many more people do you want to explain to you that I'm not who you think I am? I mean, how many more people do you want to explain to you that I'm not who you think I am? How many more people do you want to explain to you that I'm not who you think I am? All right, well, you're not going to get me to run away from you. I will be back. And I will, you and I will be talking. And we're, sooner or later, we're going to end this conversation with you liking me because I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> so I... Even though you're angry at me, I appreciate your time, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Thank you for your time. Well, that does it for Virginia. And next week, the team is off to investigate another top secret location. But before we leave Smithfield, there's one piece of audio I still have to play. It's from a recorder left alone in a room during investigations at the Applewood Colonial Bed and Breakfast.